Hi everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm wanting to show you how I um, do a clean rim on my tumblers. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you do a clean rim. A lot of people have been asking about this, so I'm just gonna do a quick video. So what I do first is, um, obviously you have your design and then I have a little under uh, tablespoon epoxy that I will be putting on my uh, tumbler. So I'm gonna fast forward this part and then I will slow down to the part where you need to know. All right, so I have most of my epoxy on my tumbler. I have the epoxy on the bottom. So this is when um, I add a little bit more epoxy to my hand like or to my gloved finger like so. And then I just apply it on the, the, the uh, top of the tumbler and I kind of take a clump, like a, a good portion of the epoxy and I kind of drag it up to the top of the rim of the tumbler. So you see how the epoxy is kind of running down on the rim and it's going inside of the cup. That is what we want it to happen. So we want the epoxy to kind of go inside of the cup and we want to kind of create a seal of epoxy on the rim of the cup. And you want it to dry this way. So you can um, add a lot of epoxy on the bottom of your tumbler and kind of scrape it up like how I did there. Um, how I got a bunch of it from the bottom and then you have a lot there and then I just press down lightly and you just want to create a seal. I wanted to kind of zoom in to show y'all if you see the seal that I'm creating on the tumbler. That's all you need to do. You let this spin as you would. You let this completely dry so I'm going to let it spin for at least four hours and then I'll turn off my turner and then I'll check on it um, and I'll let it air dry for another couple hours and then we will be back. Welcome back everybody. My tumbler has been sitting on the turner for about eight hours and is completely cured. Now we're going to clean up the rim. You see the seal, the seal has been made. Now a couple things, a couple tips before I get started. You want to make sure this is completely cured um, at least eight hours. It doesn't have to be 25 but make sure it's not sticky anymore because you're going to be gripping hard on this and you don't want to leave your fingerprints or mess up the epoxy at all. If you are doing a decal, you can do this step, then decal, and then epoxy, and then do this step again. Or you can just do the decal, epoxy, and then do this last step. Um, I will uh, let you know that if you do this step at the end, it might be a little harder to remove this seal, only because you're putting another layer of epoxy on it. So um, sometimes if you put too much epoxy on it, it does get really hard to take off so do keep that in mind. All you're going to need is an X-Acto knife. And then again, like all of my videos, I'm, I don't do this this way, so I'm trying to get this on the camera. So you take your X-Acto knife and you kind of poke part of the seal. And you see how I have my knife right here. And then you just take your knife and go all the way around the tumbler, like so. And if you do a perfect seal, it'll come out like a ring. And then you just take the ring off and you just throw that away. Now, what I personally do is this lip area, I clean off the edge because if you do put your lid on here and you take it off a lot of times, it's gonna peel up this lip area. Um, especially if it's not real smooth. So I just take my X-Acto knife and if there's any epoxy left on the edge, I just take it off like so. And you see there's a little bit of epoxy. Now a lot of times the way I do this um, isn't this way. I lean it against like my chest and then I kind of grip it with my other hand against my chest like this and then I look down and then I take it off. 
I have a better grip on it and I have more control. Now with this X-Acto knife, you wanna be careful because a lot of times what you'll do on accident is you won't pay attention with your pressure of your X-Acto knife and you'll pull down on the tumbler. You don't want that to happen. So kind of push your pressure towards the inside. So if your X-Acto knife does slip, it goes inside the tumbler because if it slips down, if it gives a big enough cut, especially on black tumblers, you're going to see it. You're going to have to sand it back down and then you're going to have to re-epoxy it. Uh, sometimes um, I even have to add a little bit more glitter or mica powder or anything I'm working with and try to cover up that, uh, that cut on the tumbler. So you want to make sure all of the epoxy is off of the tumbler. And remember, don't apply pressure down here. Sorry if I'm not getting in the camera. Um, don't apply pressure down here because you're going to slip the, the exacto knife. So I think it's all done. Make sure it's nice and clean. And whenever um, it is all out the um, epoxy, I just take, I put some 100% um, acetone and I just put it on the inside and I clean up the inside. And this is um, to clean up the spray paint because a lot of times whenever you do your tumblers, a lot of times whenever I do them, uh, almost every single one has been spray painted first, whether it's white or black. So this helps cleaning up the um, the spray paint. So don't worry if whenever you're spray painting your tumblers, you get spray paint inside of the tumbler. It's okay. And I usually do this over a kitchen sink. Um, because whenever I'm done with this, what I do is I always wash the inside with Dawn dish soap. I always wash it with either a brand new rag, a rag that I never use on my personal dishes, or I just wash it with a paper towel and then I dry it with a paper towel. Make sure you are washing these out thoroughly with Dawn dish soap. This is very important because this is 100% alcohol or 100% acetone. Um, so you don't want to have you or your customers drink out of a cup with 100% acetone in it. And if you see, once I put the acetone rag on there, or paper towel, you could see some that hasn't been lifted with the epoxy, or the epoxy still hasn't come off, so you just scrape it up with the X-Acto knife. And then, there you have it, a clean rim. You see it's clean. It's not bumpy. There's no epoxy sticking up. So I also want to show you um, if you don't do a seal, sometimes I um, actually a lot of times I don't do that perfect seal. I just kind of take my hand and then wherever the epoxy, my glove finger, wherever the epoxy uh, runs, it runs. So I did this customer for Time to Play TV on YouTube. They did reach 100 or 10,000 subscribers and this cup is actually going to Carol. They gave away a free tumbler. So they are awesome. If you want to see them, go to Time to Play TV on YouTube. And then... You see the insides of the tumbler? You do the same thing, but obviously it's not gonna be that perfect ring that comes out of here. So I did double epoxy this, so it's gonna be a little harder to, to kind of poke. And you see the difference of how easily it was to poke the first one, that was the first layer of epoxy. And then this is the second layer. So it's just a little harder. So I, I like to do it on the first layer, but if I forget, then Obviously there's nothing I can do about it, but I just wanted to show y'all one that doesn't have a perfect seal. And then I'll do the same thing, just clean it up, make sure you're focusing on going down in the tumbler, not this way, because you will cut the tumbler. And then you just clean it up that way. And then I'll do the same step. Um, I'll take my Dawn dish soap, or I'll take my 100% acetone. I'll clean out all this spray paint in here. I'll take my Dawn dish soap. Wash it with a brand new rag, brand new sponge, brand new paper towel. And then I will um, dry it with a brand new sponge or a brand new rag. If you like this video, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. If you have any recommendations also, please leave a comment and let me know any of your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.